What is going on Adventure Nation? We are leaving the Russian River Thousand Trails and heading further north. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Well, not quite north. We're going more like... Northwest. West. Yeah. North and west. But, I mean, eventually we're going north. We're going to Alaska. Eventually, yeah. But uh, it, it's been a nice, quiet stay. We caught up on some, some editing, caught up on some work. And now we're going to head a little bit north and, and west. Time to go. Time to go, yeah. So should we show them a little bit of our site and stuff before we get around? Yes. This is uh, a 1,000 trails, Russian River. And it's only water and electric only. Yeah, which is unusual because yeah. they're normally full hookups. Our spot especially was extremely well because we're next to a cabin and as you know, cabins are almost never used, like look, cabin, like there is a path for the bathroom, that, and that's our side. So very level, very hard to level in this campground, I have to say, if you have a long class A. If you have a smaller trailer, easier uh, to level for you, but. Yeah, a lot of lot of unlevel sites here. There, there is, there, don't get us wrong, there's a lot of sites here that you can level. Yeah. You can see all these sites down here. Are all pretty level but a lot of the sites here have like a ramp to go up and then level so for the longer rigs that's a hard one to to get into for the smaller trailers it's just easy right we are in section c and it seems to have quite a few of these these spots that are that are more yeah. level ours was a pull through obviously so uh, easy to get level there yes. and you ready to get hooked up and get going yeah, let's go. perfect let's do it before we get hooked up i want to show you guys the the bicycle rack we've had a lot of people asking this question lately and i know we've talked about it before but just quickly how we've done it so we obviously have the tow dolly that we have on a hitch but what we've done with the hitch is we've got a dual hitch receiver so the bottom receiver comes out to the tow dolly itself and we've got the big drop on it because uh, you want to keep your tow dolly a little bit more flat. If this is up, the back of the tow dolly dips down and then digs into the ground a lot more, so we don't want to do that. The biggest problem with this thing is this is constantly dipping in and hitting the ground, but not a big deal. So the dual hitch receiver allows bottom hitch for either your uh, tow dolly and or a flat tow. And then you have the second hitch receiver that you use for your bicycle rack and your bicycle rack goes on the back. So it works great. I kind of wish that we had gotten the, the bicycle rack that holds on to the bottom of the tires, but it is what it is. We have cheap bikes, so cheap bikes, cheap bicycle rack. That's our bicycle rack setup. Now we can get going. All right, we are loaded up and rolling out of the campground. So Time we'll to go. talk a little bit about the campground. You saw uh, as we were pulling out of the site there, pretty tight, but not, not too bad. I mean, we were able to get out of there. If you were in a bigger coach, might be a little bit hard, but not too bad. Most of the sites in our area, or at least a large majority of them in the area we were in, which was section C, were fairly level but they're not all that way. So this campground, uh, it's only water and electric. So be prepared for that. Dump your tanks before going into your spot if you need to. Uh, but and dump when you leave. Yeah, but it's a, it's a pretty campground. A little trees, um, I don't know. It was not as bad. Obviously, like always thousand trails, facilities, always, always outdated, all. But they were clean. Yeah, the, the restrooms were clean. Uh, the men's room, at least. I don't know about the ladies' room. Ladies are disgusting, so they always, their bathrooms are worse. But the men's room was sure, decent. Sure. It was, again, yeah, it's old, it's outdated, it's dark, but at least they were clean. Something bad just crashed down back there. What was it, Lori? It didn't sound good, but they were, they were clean, and that's, again, one of the more important things. The buildings and stuff are run down. It's I, close to a lot of also cool uh, areas. It is in a really cool area. Like a lot of wineries around here and the river is right here in the campground. This is the beach area is a rocky area. So it's hard to kind of like bring your blanket. It's more like a bring your chair if you want to bring, if you want to be close to the river. Yeah, it says Sandy Beach, but it's not a Sandy Beach at all. 
it was super quiet. The quietest place we've been in a long time because we've been along the ocean where you've got waves crashing, you've got planes flying overhead, you've got trains, you've got people. This was super quiet. So off we go down the road and while we're doing that, We'll take you back to yesterday where we actually went into Santa Rosa to pick up a, a package from Amazon. And while we were doing that, we happened to stop at one of the wineries. I don't know why I thought we weren't gonna film today, but we're going to. We're at the Francis Ford Coppola Winery and it's looking pretty cool so far. Well, while we're in Sonoma, right? We gotta do it. I don't think this is considered Sonoma, is it? Yeah. We're oh. like North Sonoma. This is oh. Sonoma. It is Sonoma? Okay, cool. Uh, we're in the borderline of uh, Sonoma and Mendocino, so uh, okay. Sonoma technically here. All right. How cool is that? The Godfather desk and chair, that's pretty crazy. There are some really cool memorabilia in here from some of Coppola's movies. Yeah, Coppola has won a couple of awards. Okay, the, for those of you who don't know what this car is, it is a Tucker 48. It was only made in 1948. 51 of these cars were made, so who knows how many are still in existence, but this is crazy. This company, Tucker, went through this, uh, I'm a car guy, so this stuff is really exciting for me. This company was uh, started by a guy named Preston Tucker, and he went through this trial on stock fraud and things like that, but it was baseless. They never really found anything uh, wrongdoing about this company, but the company was still shut down within the year. And speculation is, is that the big three car companies and a Michigan senator at the time had something to do with that. But this thing is exciting. 51 were made. This is a cool automobile. How cool is that? For those of you younger folks, how much does that look like Charlie Sheen? That is actually Martin Sheen from the 1979 movie Apocalypse Now. That is crazy. This picture here, folks, that is Lawrence Fishburne. He was 14 years old when this movie was being filmed. Talk about movie memorabilia craziness. Holy smokes. Bram Stoker's Dracula. As you guys know, I'm not a drinker, but Lori is, so it's time for her to get her wine tasting on. That's what we came for, right? Exactly. So we're staying at the Russian River, Lori, and this wine here that you have is what the Russian River is famous for. Pinot Noir. Pinot Noir, so how is it? Not my favorite. Not, not your favorite? This is also a director's cut, and this is a director's cut Merlot. Check out this label, folks. 
So how does it do it? Just the way you hold it, or I'm twisting the um, band around. Oh, I see. So Very there's slowly. this part right here. I'm just turning it, so I'm kind of holding on to it very gently and turning the bottle, so you can see the animation. Twist the band and the zoetrope animation, or it simulates the zoetrope animation. That is insanely cool. Holy smokes, that is awesome. All of these labels have a, a zoetrope type animation on it, so you can see that as it turns, the animation happens. And then at the very top, it's going to be hard to see, this simulates the zoetrope where you normally look down through the slots, and when that spins, you can see the animation. So, very, very cool stuff. That is awesome. And all of the bottles have a different zoetrope label. So you can see the different labels. This one here is really cool as well. This is an actual zoetrope. It's going to be hard to see through there, but that is pretty cool. This last one is the Coppola Reserve Dry Creek Valley Syrah. Very, very cool place here, the Coppola Winery. Two thumbs up. The people just come out and hang at the pool. They do not have a hotel out here. It's just the crowd comes out from Geyserville. They stay at a hotel there, Uber out, and then they come out and hang out at the pool all day, drink wine, have a little snack, and... You don't uh, have to do that. I mean, it's one of the camp. things you can do. Yeah. Uh, the wine tasting was $20 uh, for four different wines tasting. And, uh, but you don't have to do any of that. You can always just come and walk around the grounds. Yeah, and there's a lot of movie memorabilia as well. So if you've yeah. seen any of Coppola's movies, uh, especially you know, Apocalypse Now, Tucker, The uh, Godfather, of course, all the movie memorabilia is available out here. So some really, really cool stuff. Yeah, the Coppola winery was really, really cool. I even enjoyed that one. I enjoy them all because, again, it's about the process for me. But Coppola was really cool because of the movie memorabilia and stuff like that. Now we are heading up 158 and we're heading north and west and heading up to a winery up there, a Harvest Host, where we're going to spend the night. So enjoy the ride. We are on 128 between Cloverdale, California and Fort Bragg area. And I will say that uh, 34 feet towing, we are on the edge of acceptable on this road. Well, I would a, say less than 30 would be better. There's a sign that says uh, more than 30 feet not recommendable. Well, they, I think that's, they're talking about trucks though. with. They're not talking about us. Okay, 30 <laughs> foot, and he just said 30 foot, so. But I, I think 30 feet in an RV towing would be appropriate. It gets a little tight. Here is wide open, except for this one single lane thing here. There's some pretty wide open areas, but it's the real bendy like, switchbacks. Twisty areas, sometimes with a hill right next to you, like rock right next to you, so I guess. Yeah. Luckily, we're going in the right direction today, meaning all of the traffic is going south while we're going north. It is Mother's Day today, so everybody's heading back from Mother's Day weekend, either on the coast or at the wineries. 
we happen to be going north, so very little traffic in our direction, which is good for us. But it is absolutely gorgeous through here. They do have a lot of turnouts, so I've had to pull over a few times to allow people to pass, which is fine, and it's something that we should do when we drive these big lumbering rigs. But they do have that available, which is nice on this road. the little town of Boonville, California here on 128. And the unique thing about Boonville, other than the fact that there's all kinds of crazy wineries and stuff here, is they have a, a language, their own language called Bootling. And Bootling is created, they say, back in the early 1900s, was it? 19th century. In the early 19th century. And they don't know if it came from kids trying to make up a language to uh, talk with their parents or talk around their parents or their parents talking around their kids made it up or whether field workers did it. But they have their own dialect here, their own form of English, I guess, called bootling. So I, I don't think we're going to stop and uh, try to find any bootlings, but I thought that was kind of cool. Cute little town. Very cute little town. Low cafes and wine tasting. Imagine that, wine tasting. Imagine this area. This is in Mendocino County. So if you hear people talking about counties, this is in Mendocino. Okay, one of the things that got Lori into the whole RV thing. This is how he sold it to me. Is Harvest, Harvest Host, Harvest yes. Host. I saw myself in the vineyards, like in my RV, having some wine. Oh, beautiful truck. So yes, that's how he sold it to me. So she is going to like this. Oh, that's a low solar. They have a lot of solar here. The people have been so friendly. We're at Handley Cellars and they give us a couple different places to park but i think this will just be about right where we're going over here on the side of the building oh my god <laughs> people if you're not doing harvest host you're missing out this is a kind of camping you do with harvest host yeah make sure you mention our name <laughs> make sure you mention the motor home experiment oh and uh i think they give us a free month and you guys a free month so it's kind of cool but this is spectacular. Very, very cool. Very breathtaking. Now, I'm going for some wine tasting. I'm going to finish my Dr. Pepper. You guys got to check out this view of the door from Handley Cellars. Yeah, this is exactly how I sold Lorena on the whole RV thing was that we would get to do places like this. And it is pretty spectacular. So we're gonna head inside and Lori's gonna do some wine tasting. I'll have to see if they have some bread and olive oil or something like that. Yeah, pretty nice.
making our way through wine country and we've stopped at a couple now one in yes. sonoma one Coppola. thank you to debbie debbie and mark that they told us about it yeah and coppola was really cool i i even thought it was awesome even though i, I find most of the wine stuff awesome I mean, because i like the processes i will and things. say if you're intimidated by just visiting the winery yeah they can get it's smooth. like Coppola is a great stop because it's like you have a lot of memorabilia of the Godfather and everything that Coppola has done, right? It's like, uh, well, not everything, probably a few not movies. Everything, yeah. Uh, but it's not that intimidating. Everybody's, no, they were super nice. Everybody's super nice. Doesn't matter who it is, everybody's super nice. So, yeah, and it is a very high end spot, so. So very high end, but very kind of laid back yes. at the same same time. I mean, they have a pool for crying out loud. <laughs> and then uh, but, then we rolled up here into the Anderson Valley, yes. and that that winery Coppola is really really high end, and then yes. Handley is like a little smaller uh, a family operation. Owned, it's a family owned winery, and I have to say, it's like they were super nice as well. They you they guide you through anything that you need, basically. Right. I don't know if it's we don't know if it's family owned. Could be corporate owned and it just feels small. No, they told us it's family owned. Oh, is it? Yeah. All right, I wasn't paying attention. So, <laughs> anyway, it's family owned, so support your family owned uh, wineries as well. So. And one of the biggest differences between Coppola and here is Coppola, the wine tasting I think was twenty bucks for the flight of four. Yes. And here it's free, and you tasted like not only that a dozen. This is a harvest host. Right. So you are able to stay here for, I would say free, it's not quite free, not but it's free. like they give you free tasting and then you buy whatever wines you actually do like. Right. So what I told Paul is not like, and a lot of people say this, it's not free, but let's say that you get two in one. You get like a place to stay and an experience. Right, because you can't stay at Coppola. I mean, you, even if no. you pay for everything, you still no. can't stay there. So it really is neat that you are able to, to stay at the Harvest Host ones. And, and mm -hmm. it look like, check this out. Look, take a look around. I mean, again, this... Like, how can you beat this view? How this can is you our beat this environment? own personal campground for one <laughs> night. So that's, it's crazy. So, yeah, we've had a good time in, in wine yes. country. And, and we're not quite out of it yet, but I think we're done with... Wine tastings? Are we done with wine tastings? I don't know what's coming yeah, we, up. Yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> but we are going to end this video here. So we'd love for you guys to hang out with us, get to know us a little bit better, come along on our travels. And if they want to do that, they need to do what? Subscribe. They need to subscribe. So hit that subscribe button. It'd be really cool if you liked the video. And we'll see you again in the next one. So guys. Bye, guys. Have a good evening. Ozzy's loving it. Ozzy's loving this place. He's out playing. Ozzy. Ozzy, come say hi to your fans. Like he doesn't even care. Ozzy. Ozzy. No. <laughs> he does not care about us at all. He doesn't listen. No. All right. But he's loving this place.